Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about types of qualitative research like phenomenological research, grounded study, historical research, case study, action research and ethnographic research. Under qualitative research, we mainly collect non-numerical data because we conduct qualitative research in order to know opinion, suggestion, emotions, experience of people. For example, under interview method, we ask questions so that we can know about their experiences, opinions, beliefs, emotions, thoughts, etc. First is phenomenological research. Under phenomenological research, we collect data about people's experiences. That means under this type of research, we gather information about first-hand experiences of people so that we can know how they perceive their experiences. For example, a study that explores mother experience, how she fought with the postpartum depression along with bringing up her child. Similar, a study that explores women experience how they balance their personal and professional life will be called uh, phenomenological research because under this kind of research, we basically know about uh, people's experience, how they perceive their experiences. Next is grounded theory. Under grounded theory, we collect and analyze data in order to generate theories. Under grounded theory, we collect and analyze data in order to generate theories. Means main objective of grounded theory to develop new theories based on data collection. For example, David Ricardo conducted research for developing his rent theory. Means rent theory of Ricardo is based on the research or we can say the based on the data which is collected by David Ricardo. Importance of grounded theory are help to discover new ideas. Theories are connected with the real world situation and capture people's experiences also. Next is historical research. Historical research is a process of investigating and studying about past event, people and society by using so many methods and sources. Historical research is a process of investigating and studying about past event, people and society by using so many methods and sources. We can uh, see their letters, record photographs of people who were uh, present during that time period or we can study from books, uh, articles. But main question is that why we conduct historical research? We conduct historical research so that we can better understand present people to connect them with their past culture, traditions and society. Second thing, with the help of past event, we can predict the future also. Next is action research. Action research is a method of research where we simultaneously investigate and solve any issue. Action research is a method of research where we simultaneously investigate and solve any issue or we can say that under action research we do research and take action at same time. For example, first of all we identify problem, then immediately take action in order to solve problem. Then we reflect the result of our research. Here you can see result of research not only include uh, problem but also include solution of problem. So we can say that under action research we do research and take action at the same time means we do research and solve problem at the same time. For example, teacher don't know about reading problems of student. That's why she use oral reading intervention so that she can know reading problem of student as well as can improve it. Next is case study. Case study means detailed study about people, group and situation. Case study means detailed study about people, group and situation. For example, theoretically you know so many theories of motivation. But now you decided case study on employees of motivation. That's why you actually go in any organization and observe behavior of employees and ask so many questions of employees, take their interview so that you can know what are the factors which actually affect the motivation of employees. And importance of case study are we can apply our theoretical knowledge in a real world situation and we can understand complex issues of society. Next is ethnographic research. As we know, people behavior reflect their culture 
and ethnographic research provide information about people culture by studying about how they behave how they interact with each other how they interact with their environment for example as we know in some culture it consider rude to make eye contact whom you don't know but in some culture eye contact is sign of respect under ethnographic research by seeing people behavior by studying about people behavior how they interact with each other you can know about their culture so this type of research give information about people culture most important thing we can understand people perspective by understanding their culture so this is all about type of qualitative research i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care